boy no live in a tenement yard. Too much, watch you, watch you, watch you. Too much, so, 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 so. I want them chatty, chatty, chatty. Fuck all this pretty Sean Carter shit, nigga. Ho. Sean was on that gospel shit. I was on the total fucking opposite. Shit. Stuff a million dollars in a sock drawer. Hey, YouTube. Butter is here. <laughs> Well, today I'm just chilling in my car. Um, I'm early. Um, I'm meeting um, my best friend for lunch. We're at the Olive Garden. Um, this is honestly, I want to say my second time ever here at Olive Garden. Check out this chick behind me. <laughs> She's in my vlog today. Little does she know. But today's my second time ever here at the Olive Garden. She chose this place, so I'm just gonna rock out with it. Hopefully I can find something on the menu that I really like. I don't think she knows that I vlog, so maybe I'll tell her today, who knows. But I wouldn't put her in here on the vlog. Maybe if I have a, take a picture or something like that, I'll pop it in. But anyway, um, I'm gonna just tell you something that um, happened the other day when um i was going through mcdonald's to pick up my son something to eat <sighs> okay so you know when you go through the drive through you place your order and you're waiting well there was somebody in front of me waiting so um and i guess they were talking or whatever the case may be so there was a problem basically and um, it took like maybe five minutes or so. Oh God, maybe I might put this on pause because somebody's gonna park here. Oh no, well they're not good. So, um, what was I saying? So I was waiting until my turn. I was like five minutes or so waiting to pull up. So when I finally I pulled up and this guy was standing there, um, he said to me, he says, oh ma'am, I'm so sorry because I'm sorry for the way he said oh my god he was like this man always come through the drive through um and gives me a hard time whenever he sees me because I'm gay he always give me a hard time and he says like mean things to me and so I always have to have the supervisor come and and um speak to him and do his transaction I'm like oh my god I am so sorry you know what I'm saying I said that is just so ignorant you know what I'm saying my view on the whole thing yeah i do date women and everything like that um even if you are not about that life you don't condone it you don't like it whatever the case may be you should still treat people with respect in my opinion i was so angry i felt so bad for him he was just like kind of shaky like you know he was just really upset and no matter white black puerto rican gay lesbian straight bi nose on your forehead whatever you should just really just treat people with respect all you had to do was give the man the money he would have gave you your change and you just pull off that was it why people just why oh that made me so upset because he was when he was telling me about it he just looked so upset and I you know I apologize for the other guy's ignorance I said you know what don't even let that mess up your day just keep it pushing you know people don't have to accept you but they really should respect you you know it's just ridiculous so I just wanted to come in and give you that rant why I'm sitting here waiting for my BFF and chilling with homegirl over here in the car and homeboy back over there if you can see him walking by <laughs> all right guys i hope you have a good day good evening good night whatever time you're watching and tell me what do you think about that and you don't even have to be gay straight or whatever i mean just do you think he still should just gave the guy respect and just you know even if he didn't speak to him you know the customer he should have just did the transaction and kept it pushing oh it's just so sad ah let's move on people please please <laughs> all right guys butter is out t t y l bye guys